Hey guys, have you ever had that situation where you're modeling something in low res and you actually want to see it in high resolution? Well, in Maya there is a solution for that and it's called Smooth Proxy. So we can dive into that right after this intro. Okay, so we are in a Maya Classic uh, layout right now. Uh, I'm using a Maya uh, 2020.2. There is an update out. It has pretty cool new uh, uh, features out. Uh, but for today, this is what I'm using. Uh, this should work on any older than Maya, everything back to 2007, if I'm not uh if i'm correct so uh let me demonstrate what i'm talking about and then oh, we'll jump into like a little more this is going to be one of those quick tip tutorials it's not going to be too long hopefully this will be helpful and here we go so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a just a plane and what i want to show you first is that i could take something with pretty low res and i'm going to make it a high res option I'm going to turn on my wireframe on shaded. You could also find it under shading. Um, show all, you can see wireframe on shaded or alt plus five. That's a shortcut. And under mesh, you're going to go all the way down to smooth proxy. And I'm going to just tear this off. And we got a few options here. We got uh, smooth proxy, removes uh, subdivision proxy. Um, mirror uh, and then you also have a crease tool if you're ever looking for it and then you have some toggles over here for the for that tool I'm gonna go into um, the smooth proxy um, options here to subdivide proxy it's called and I'm just going to reset it, and this is good practice in Maya to do. If you ever get one of these windows up, just go edit, reset, just so you know you're getting uh, the factory standard, just because uh, you never know if you know what you've done here before if you played it with it. And I'm going to leave it on its default. I'm just going to press apply. Now, on its face, it doesn't look like anything has happened, but if you look at the outline, it is a group here now with two polygon shapes. One has the original, and the other one has a subdivide. It's subdivided. Now, what is this good for? Let's have a look. So let's uh, take the low poly, and I go to edges, and I already have my um, object on mirror. And let's say I hold down shift and extrude. Actually, I should be here. There we go and extrude. Notice that I'm now extruding out a low poly and creating this high poly mesh as well. And this is a very cool tool. Now right now because I'm in Maya 2020 uh, I can hold down shift and do the extrude in older versions of Maya. I think Maya 18 this doesn't exist or Maya 17, it doesn't exist. Uh, you will have to right click and go, sorry, shift right click and then go to extrude and do this and then press G. Uh, but yeah, so I'm holding shift and I'm going to go and bridge uh, and uh, right click, shift and right click and I'm going to go bridge. And that's it. And I created this very complex shape pretty quickly uh, with this proxy. Now, the cool thing is, if I go back to object mode and move this out you can see that even if I move this somewhere else in space I could still go ahead and manipulate this so let's say I'm gonna go extrude and offset you can see that this is all live and are working pretty awesomely Gee. there you go and this is a good way to kinda create very complex shapes very quickly um, uh, in Maya uh, what else is this good for? So let's say I've created something that's 
this pretty cool. I mean, I know that you could do stuff like this in 3ds Max, but my uh, sometimes you gotta dig a little to find these tools. All right, so let's say I'm doing a box modeling, a face modeling, whatever. So I got this box, and I want to create a low res version of this. I could actually do a couple of cool things here. So firstly, I can say, how about let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this box. Just a second. And I'm just gonna do that. Alright, and I'm gonna blow away half. Because this is usually what we do in when we model. We usually work on half. And what I can do here, once I'm in object mode, I could go over here and say, can you do half on the minus x? Apply. And now I have half that's high res, half that's low res. And now I could just, you know, add data. I can then manipulate, say, the edges here. So let's say I go to the side here. Let's uh, grab the verts. So do that. Bring that in. Let's do that. Maybe do that. And do that. And then maybe go over here. And we could say, you know what? Maybe take these two and slide them in and scale them together so we get a nice rounded shape and maybe take this here and move it down and you can already see that we are starting to get uh, pretty much what you would expect if you were modeling this uh, if you were modeling a low res and you seeing the high res at the same time it's pretty damn nifty look at that look at that and the cool thing is I could use all the same tools as before so let's say I wanna now start doing something like this and then take that there and maybe let's add that there and then connect there and maybe take that one to there See how fast you can do stuff. So this is basic, just the basics, and it's pretty damn nifty. Uh, I do suggest you look into it, and it's a very nice tool. And with that, I'm going to end this tutorial. I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, to find this tool again, you will go under Mesh because you're manipulating the mesh. You'll find Soft pro uh, Smooth Proxy, and that's it. Uh, if you like what you see here, uh, please subscribe, like, link share, do all of that uh, social media thingy, and uh, be sure to uh, write me a comment if there's something you would like to see, a tool that you always wish there was in Maya or you want to know about more. Uh, I'm always glad to hear. I got a little, some, a little some, I got a little time on my hands right now, so making tutorials like this is kind of fun. Anyway, see you guys on the flip side. Salute.